Bertold Laufer, Wikipedia article audio. Bertold Laufer was an anthropologist and historical geographer with an expertise in East Asian languages. The American Museum of Natural History calls him one of the most distinguished sinologists of his generation. Laufer was born in Cologne in Germany to Max and Eugenie Laufer. His paternal grandparents Salomon and Johanna Laufer were adherents of the Jewish faith. Laufer had a brother Heinrich who worked as a physician in Cairo. Life List of Works Laufer attended the Friedrich Wilhelms Gymnasium from 1884 to 1893. He continued his studies in Berlin and completed his doctorate degree at the University of Leipzig in 1897. The following year he emigrated to the United States where he remained until his death. He carried out ethnographic fieldwork on the Amur River and Sakhalin Island during 1898-1899 as part of the Jessup North Pacific Expedition. The Division of Anthropology of the American Museum of Natural History webpage on Law for China Expedition states that he He worked as assistant in ethnology at the American Museum of Natural History became a lecturer in anthropology and East Asiatic languages at Columbia University. The rest of his career he spent at the Field Museum in Chicago. He served as the president of the History of Science Society in 1932. Lawford died on September 13, 1934 after falling from the eighth floor fire escape of the Chicago Beach Hotel in Chicago where he lived. He had been recovering from the removal of a tumor at the time, but his widow claimed he was in good spirits, and the coroner's jury returned an undetermined verdict. From Lasting Impressions, Chinese Rubbings from the Field Museum Brochure Written in English In addition to his studies in Chinese culture as such, Lawfer used his knowledge of ancient Chinese writings to shed light on ancient Iran. Very little writings have survived from ancient Iran. Surviving ancient Chinese writings contain valuable information about ancient Iran, which Lawfer was the first to study systematically, and which he published as Sino-Iranica, Chinese Contributions to the History of Civilization in Ancient Iran with special reference to the history of cultivated plants and products. Written in French Written in German Collections <laughs>